Look how clean that is. The white car gotta be the best one, bro. Look at this. The white one, I Man. And the patent leather look clean on these though. The patent leather? Yeah, the shiny part. <laughs> Yo, what is good YouTube? I am back with another video and as you can see in the beginning of the video, I am now winning the I mean, I said winning, hold up. As you saw in the beginning of the video, I am now wearing the Air Jordan 11 Windlight 96, AKA Jim Red. These jokers are clean. Do you agree? Do you agree? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I had an early retail, um, whatchamacallit, retail order or something like that it was on instagram i won that joker and i was happy like i was like jumping out the bed like i just drunk coffee off of uh out of uh some re some rejected coffee store type sooner or later on the video i will do a review on the shoe yeah you got a problem <laughs> but anyway uh I'm gonna do a review on the shoe later on, probably tomorrow, maybe today, but it will be on the same video, so don't worry. I'm gonna keep a close review on it, so then y'all can see how the Wind Like 96 will be on your feet. And right now, still clean, still clean. But leave a uh, leave a subscription, uh, like a subscribe. I already said subscription, so I'm see why I'm saying that. Uh, Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll talk to y'all later. Yo, what is up, YouTube? I need a better lighting. Like Alright, guys, so today I will be talking about. Uh, I need to work on my, I need to work on my thing. Today I'm going to interview for review or whatever you want to call it. These little bad boys. I will give you a closer look of the Air Jordan 11 Windline 96, but first, let me go ahead and read the reason why they're called the Air Jordan 11 Windline 96. But before I do, shout outs to Kixify, um, StockX for helping me out with this order, because Loki, it's gotta be like the best shoe that I have in my entire collection, like seriously the best shoe that I have in my entire collection. I was going to cop the Win Life 90, not 92, <laughs> Win Life 82, but uh, that kind of messed up. Like I said, I think I said it on the other video, I think it was the size part, it's always the size part. Shout outs to the 9.5, nine and a half people that were nine and a half or 9.5 wide, whatever kind of small size you wear, shout outs to y'all. But like low key, I know it, it's not really hard, but it is hard because you got people that you know wear small size shoes and then they'll have to worry about paying nothing but like 140 for a 190 dollar pair of jordans you know you know what i'm talking about but anyway it says here the air jordan 11 win like 96 celebrates michael jordan's professional supremacy in a color scheme new to the silhouette featuring premium patent leather with a brilliant red and an icy translucent outsole this colorway becomes the boldest air jordan 11 tribute to chicago yet Additional details include black accents on the ankle, tongue, and heel branding, and the white midsole. Okay, so closer details including the um, this right here on the tongue, one, two, three, nothing changed on that. It has the widow's peak and it is the exact same height as the space jams like I said um, earlier on the video. Um, uh, another addition, uh, an icy translucent outsole on the insole. Let me take in on the inside. It looks like this black jump man, all red, um, uh, all red insole. You know, just stuff like this. Um, we still have the thin rope laces. I mean, well, it's not really thin, it's kind of thick, just like the previous, um, Air Jordan 11s. But, um, other than that, the only thing that's changed is the height and everything else 
well, especially the color. I know the color. Um, the Widow's Peaks is still on there. You know, if it doesn't have Widow's Peaks, then you're dealing with a fake pair of this type of shoe. I may do an on feet review on the shoe and still talk about it more. But um, other than that, um, I'm just going to talk to you guys about the next cop. The next shoe that I may cop. If y'all ever heard of the Air Jordan 1 or have ever seen the Air Jordan 1 Top 3 Gold, that is coming out on November 27th and the retail price is 160 And I was thinking about getting that joker for Christmas. So hopefully I'll be able to cop those straight to Foot Locker at about 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. Oh yeah, and also for all the Auburn fans, um, don't get these. Get the uh, get the 82s. Alabama fans, get the 96. I'm pretty sure y'all should get that 96 because it's a really bold color. I do like the color because it's just straight up red. You know, it's it's just bold. It's just a straight up bold color. It's like nothing more into it. You, there's not that any more stuff on it. It's just plain simple, and that's what I love to do. Plain and simple stuff. Not not just because I'm simple. Just I just like simple things. Simple stuff. Oh yeah, and also, um, man, how I want to put this. I was gonna put it in a OG box um, type of review, but I only have the noble box, like you see early on in the video and that is only because my OG box was ripped apart during the shipping and I have no idea why it was ripped apart it was like ripped straight up in half and I was really upset it had the shoes a little bit creased up which I was super mad about and that's basically the reason why I don't have the OG box today but hopefully if the top 10 gold I mean the top 3 gold <laughs> Yeah, if the Air Jordan 1 Top 3 Gold have an OG box or a type of special box, I will low-key go ahead and review those shoes, put a, do an on-feet review on them, and stuff like that. You know, I, I got y'all. Just, just pray for me, okay? Just, just pray for me. I'm gonna get them. I got you. I got y'all. But anyway, that'll be a, um, that's basically uh, gonna be it for the video. Y'all already know who I am. My name is TRL, and I hope you guys have a blessed Thanksgiving. Peace.